onion. Growing fruit and vegetables like these has almost become an act of patriotism for Armenians. Another section of the so-called black market displays household articles. The market has the flavor of a rummage sale. Anything not wanted at home can be brought to sell or trade, even the children's rabbits. Erevan is built on rocky terrain. The aqueduct is for irrigation, but boys enjoy swimming in its swift current. A small river runs through the heart of the town. On its banks is a beautiful park, a woodland in the center of town. Some bathe, others picnic, while children are entertained by a ride on a small train. On a hill within the city is located a summer scouting camp. The assistant scoutmasters are 17 and 18 years old. These are all Armenian faces. Their leader is a fiery revolutionary patriot. He lectures on the virtues of personal cleanliness, honesty, patriotism, and above all, being a good Armenian and a good communist. Unique features of Erevan's parks are the many posters placed along the lanes proclaiming a high level of productivity in the Socialist Union. Some posters, however, are moralistic. Others are humorous. Usually, caricatures deal with man-woman relations. A man telephoning his wife that business will detain him at the office tonight. A housewife kicking out a fresh repairman. A spinster getting ready to go husband hunting. The stories are the same in every country. Erevan appears to be a delightful place for children. In many of the parks, there are public carnivals. The joys and laughter of these children of Armenia ever remains in contrast to the horrors that took place and the desolation that now prevails in all of the lost Armenian provinces in Turkey. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.